Hello everybody, this is Igor Cavalera and you guys are watching Antihero TV. For us it was cool in the way that we kind of like started our own scene there by doing, you know, starting Sepultura and having a bunch of friends gather and, and listen to music that were listening to it. And I think that helped in the sense that we were not somehow infected by a, by a big city where you have so much segregation in, in different styles. You know, we would listen to a Discharge, or Venom, or Amoebix, and for us, it was all Slayer, all that stuff for us, like, it's cool. It doesn't matter if they had long hair, the, the whole thing for us, by being in that city, was... So I think that helped a lot later on, on how we approach music rather than fashion. Was it just arbitrary that the drums came to you and the guitar came to him? I mean, how did that go down that way? Well, it, it's weird because I started playing drums very, very early, when I was like six or, or seven years old. So before anything to do with the band, I, I was already a drummer. So that's how I ended up picking up the drums, obviously, before the, the, we start to think about Sepultura. And then Max, he had to pick another instrument. At first he picked the guitar and we had a, a singer. And then when the singer left, he started singing and doing guitar and singing. But it was kind of like, he had no choice. I was a better drummer. Did you discover a lot of music and a lot of bands together, or was there a lot of, hey, check this out, kind of back and forth? We used to discover a lot of stuff together growing up. Nowadays, since we live in different places, it's more about showing each other what we've been getting into it, which is also a really cool uh, exercise, because we go sometimes for a few months without seeing each other, and that by the time we meet, there's a lot of stuff that we want to exchange musically, especially you know, me and Max, we always be in, in the sense that we bring different styles to, to what we listen to. So I, I bring more of a experimental stuff where you show me what's going on nowadays in, in hardcore or in metal. So that, that mix really helps to, to write music. Do you remember the very first cassette or the vinyl that you ever bought with your own money? Not something that somebody gave you to, but like the first thing you purchased on your own. Yeah, it was a, it was actually a cassette from a Kiss, <laughs> uh, the a live uh, record in a cassette. And then actually me and Max, we put together like money for each other. And then and he bought a Queen cassette and I bought a Kiss and that was like 19... 80, I think, something like that. And that was the first time we purchased, like, we went out and bought it.
that Rolling Stone doesn't really acknowledge metal that much, that's what it makes it cool. I think the minute Rolling Stone openly, you know, starts saying, well, there's something wrong, because I think that's, that's the cool thing about it, because metal still look, even though it goes through phases when it's more popular and less popular, it's still like a, a rebel thing. And I quite enjoy the fact that, you know, certain things like uh, Rolling Stone or at the time MTV, they didn't full support metal. And that's, that's a positive thing in my way of looking. If the final chapter on Sepultura has been written and it's done, are you happy with how the book is going to end? I'm not sure, man. I mean, it could things could change, you know, like as far as like, I don't know if in the future we, we eventually going to do uh, the reunion thing. Right now, what I can say is me and Max were having a blast doing what we do with Cavalera and also playing stuff that we wrote when we were kids, you know, like Troops of Doom and stuff like that when we do live so i don't really see that that really really need of, of the the reunion thing where i know fans really want to see that but for me my personal reunion is me and max you know that's the the core of the whole thing that's you know how we started the whole thing and how we're going to finish i'm not even concerned with reunion in fact i didn't yeah. say the word reunion what i'm interested in finding out is it's to me it's your and max's band and what do you want the legacy to be? What, when people look back, when you screw everybody, when yeah. you and Max look back, what do you want the legacy of Sepultura to be? It's, I mean, it's, it's tough because, of course, we're super proud of everything we've done with Sepultura. But I also, that little thing that bugs me that it's like, I think they're deteriorating the, the brand itself of Sepultura with fans by doing you know, the tours and, and continue doing without me and Max being there. So it's it's tough, but at the same time, it's nothing that we can do about it, you know. It's just, we gotta do what we do and, you know, keep playing. This is Igor Cavalera, and you guys are on Anti-Hero Magazine. Awesome. Oh, on. I don't know how, but... <laughs> Thank you. Go well, get something to eat. I'm sorry, that was totally lucky. <laughs>